Welcome to Techno Learning. This is part 5 where we have to go to layouts and we'll design the activity decoder. Here you can see that we'll go to the split and here we have to first of all remove this constraint layout and add up the scroll view here. As you can see that okay and we'll add up orientation as vertical and the background will set up as drawable background 5 uh, we have taken these pictures uh, in the first video from the resources i hope you have downloaded these resources and uh, stored in the drawable folder after that we are creating that uh, linear layout with width and height as match parent and wrap content and taking the orientation of this linear layout as vertical with layout margin as 5 dp and closing it and within this linear layout we are making another nested linear layout with width and height as match parent and wrap content respectively and taking the orientation as vertical with the margin from the top is 5 dp after that uh, we are closing it and in the linear layout we are making the text view with width and height as wrap content and wrap content and taking the layout gravity as center also the text for this text view we have to add up as decryptor uh, there's a spelling mistake okay now it's fine yeah so we have to add up the size of the text is 30 sp and the style for this text is bold and we'll set up the color and as we are using the color from the hex values you can check out the hex values of various colors on google by just typing the color palettes in hex after that uh, we just come out of this linear layout and here we have to add up the new linear layout with width and height as match parent and wrap content respectively and taking the orientation as vertical and the layout gravity will be set up as center also we are taking the margin from the top as 5 dp after this we are closing this linear layout and within this linear layout we are creating a view make sure that this view will used for horizontal line and you have to give the id for this divider one and also add up the background from the hex color of it and here in the right side you can see that uh, as we are writing the code uh, it is implementing in the right side on the screen so now the horizontal line is created also and here you can see that uh, we are now creating a new linear layout with width and height as match parent and wrap content respectively after that orientation is vertical and the layout margin from the top is 5 dp also the margin from other sides such as left is 15 dp and the layout margin from the right is also 15 dp so that our screen will be look out something sophisticated after that we are uh, adding a text view another text view here and we'll set up uh, this text view by giving the properties such as adding the text as enter your text here suppose if you have encrypted the text already and you have copied the encrypted text then uh, using that text you will convert this text into the normal form that is uh, in the decrypted form the encrypted text is in the form of binary and then reverse and after decoding it or decrypting it it will convert able into the normal textual form so here you can see that we have given the properties for this text view 
uh, we have to add up the added text here where we have to paste that encrypted text and for this we are adding the properties for this added text as with I have taken as 360 dp and the height is 60 dp here also you have to give up the id for this added text as e and t d e c make sure the spelling is very correct if you do any mistakes in spelling then you will be having some errors and mix that text size 20 sp also the text color is taken from the hex value and the margin will be set up from the top as 5 dp now the added text is completed now we have to add up a button uh, if that is uh, suppose if we uh, copy the text that is uh, encrypted text and we have to uh, decrypt it then we will paste the text in the edit text view and when we click on the button uh, this button that we are creating right now the text will be converted into the normal decrypted form so we are giving the properties for this button as android text uh, for decrypt as the name and the setting the text style as bold also the text size is 20 sp and the text color will be taken from the hex value itself so you can see that yeah it's a mistake here yeah. yeah so fine the button is almost ready we have to add up some on click and we will add it at the we will implement this function in the java coding of this activity here you can see that uh, we have to create another linear layout and we'll be add up, adding up the new horizontal line then we'll add up a copy button here so first of all we are giving the properties of this linear layout and this orientation and gravity you can see that uh, almost the properties of the linear layout are same not uh, all the linear layouts but some of the linear layouts are having the properties uh, same and here we are creating view and giving the background color from the hex value here you can see that the line appears in the right side will give the id as divided to so okay it is created now we will close this view and we will come out of this linear layout that we created for this horizontal line and here we have to create another linear layout with width and height as wrap content and after that the orientation will be vertical and the margin from the top will be 5 dp as i've already told you that the linear layouts are having same properties or you can copy the properties and just paste into the linear layout when you are creating a new linear layout you just have to copy it and paste it or you, you can write this as i'm writing so now we are in the text view and we have pick up the text here that your decrypted text the result yeah now we have to add up some text styles such as giving the color for this text view and we have taken the color from the hex value and the text size is 20 sp after that we'll add up the margin from the top is 5 dp and then we'll give the layout gravity left so the text view is completed after that we have to create another text view for the result in which the result of decrypted text will appear so this is the crucial one and make sure you are writing the code correctly and here I am giving the gravity as left. Also, the text size will be 20 SP. 
for this text view and now I have to give the text color from the hex value is FA 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 and then after this there are some kinds of margin as you can see that text view are also same in terms of properties uh, now I have to give the ID for this text view make sure the IDs are different if you are copying the text view properties and we have given the idea DECTB so here this linear layout also completes now we have to create another linear layout and this is gonna be the last I think and we are giving the properties for the width and the height as match parent and wrap content respectively and adding the orientation as vertical also taking up the margin from the top side is 5 dp and the margin from the left is 15 dp also the margin from the right side will also be 15 dp so now it is closed and within this linear layout you have to add up a new property called button or you have to give the width as i am giving the custom width that is 230 dp and the height is wrap content after that you have to style this button first first of all you have to give the id for this button make sure the ids are differentiable if you make up the same ids in two activities then you will be facing the error so take my words for granted here you have to give the layout gravity as center now you can see that the button is uh, in the right side we are adding this text as copy and the text style will be given as bold now we have to give some another property like text size that will be 20 sp and at the last will be giving the text color here you can see that button is not styled very much so don't you worry about it we'll just correct it in the next videos after that we'll be adding the another property for this button uh, yeah, there's uh, some mistakes i think yeah after that to add up uh, the new property dot call on click and it is cp1 make sure the on click is also differentiable you can see that so the button is created successfully here you can see that there are some errors uh, these errors are because of uh, on click non implemented yet whenever we are going to implement the on click then there will be no errors i'll make sure about it okay so the this uh, xml layout is completed now we have to move to the java coding in the next video so thank you for watching this video you can subscribe our channel